Yeah, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Victor Obasui, and the channel is My Take on YouTube, Dr. Victor Obasui. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about a condition called press biopia. Press biopia literally means um, as we get older, we start to lose our near vision. And this is common in every body once you hit that 40 years age mark. Uh, over 40, it becomes one or the other. If you have very good distant vision, you will lose the near vision. If you have um, very bad distant vision, which means you're short-sighted, once you hit 40, of course, you're still able to read without glasses or do your near work without uh, glasses. You can no longer have um, both. And what happens in presbyopia is the fact that um, once we hit that 40 mark, the lens in the eye, the natural lens, uh, loses its um, elasticity. So where in a young child, they can look at something far off and look at something close up. And um, between both, the eye adjusts automatically. So they can't even tell the difference because um, it's a kind of auto-focusing. It does, it's automatic. But um, once we start crossing that age of 40 and the higher... Uh, our age gets, the more difficult it is for the lens to now do that um, auto-focus um, adjustment. So this is why we find a lot of times when you give um, somebody something to read at that uh, 40 plus years, you find them holding the print, they're pushing it back to read. Because if you bring it too close, it gets more blurry. So they have to push it back a bit. And that's what's called them. Um, Presbyopia. It affects male, females the same way. There's no, um, there's nothing like uh, men are more prone to it or women are more prone to it. Once you hit 40, everybody is uh, susceptible, uh, susceptible to it. So you find a lot of these people, number one, will complain about a uh, task when you bring it too close to their faces. They prefer when you give them things to read, you see them doing, doing this to, to read. And that is because um, the vision becomes poorer the more you bring it close. The eye cannot really uh, do that autofocus mechanism anymore. Then for a lot of people, uh, they prefer to have extra lights when they're doing their close-up work. So you find they just put light, 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 it as, bright as, uh, as bright as possible. That's also... Um, one of the signs of um, press biopia, then headache, eye strain, fatigue when they do near work. Yeah, so, and once you have uh, press biopia, uh, the, the steps to take to correct it are the next things that I'm going to be talking about. So, that is exactly what um, press biopia is. But the good thing is that there are so many ways around it. The most common one is um, glasses called the bifocals or the progressives. Bifocals will give you the option of being able to see very far with the glasses and also being able to read very well with the glasses. The bifocals are those ones that you see the lines in it. Sometimes the line could be flat or it could be round, uh, round top or the line can be right across. So the top portion of the glass has a different focal point from the lower portion. That's why it's called a bi bifocal. Then, uh, but the drawback to the bi the advantage of the bifocal is once you have it on, and uh, as most uh, patients will uh, attest, distant vision is good, near vision is also good at 40 centimeters. But the drawback is it doesn't have an intermediate area. So things are at, that you do at arm's length, like your computer, um, if, you, if you are the type that like, loves to read at a little bit further distance, then when you're driving like your dashboard and things like that, you find a little blur to it. And that's because it doesn't have the intermediate um, session. So for a lot of people that do computer work a lot or intermediate distance a lot, it's advisable to go with the trifocal, which has three sessions. The lowest part, intermediate part, and the distant. The, distant, the top part is for your distant vision. The intermediate part is for your intermediate distance, like computer reading and stuff like that, uh, computers. Then the um, 
lowest part is the reading, which is usually done around 40 centimeters. So this gives you that uh, flexibility of being able to do all three things. But again, with the trifocus, a lot of patients don't like it because of the cosmetic part to it, just like the bifocus, the lines are visible, especially women. The people that are practical, that, you know what, I don't really care. In terms of adaptation, the trifocus or the bifocus, the lot, they are the easiest to get used to. Then, for people that don't like the cosmetic appearance of the bifocal or the trifocal, the only other option is the progressive, or one we call the multifocal, uh, multifocal lenses. This one gives you the option of far, close-up, uh, intermediate, and all the ranges in it. And um, it's invisible. A lot of patients call it invisible bifocal, but the right term for it is um, multifocus or the progressives. Now, the drawback to the progressive is that because of the way it is, um, uh, because of the science behind it, it takes a lot of um, adaptation, most times two weeks or uh, even above to get used to it because, because there are no lines. Patients tend to wonder, okay, where should I be looking to? Should I be looking up to see the distance? Should I be looking down to read? So for, for a, lot of uh, a lot of patients, it takes time to get used to the uh, trifocals. And trifocals doesn't give you peripheral vision because the usable part of the glass is like an hourglass just inside. You have a lot of blank areas on the temporal side and in, in the nasal side. Unlike the bifocals or the trifocals that gives you the, uh, that full uh, peripheral um, view. So another option, if you don't want to use glasses, is the contact lenses. Contact lenses, we also have um, the multifocal option, which is for presbyopia again. Then we also have the monovision option for contact lenses. Monovision means uh, one eye will be fitted for the distance, which is the dominant eye, and the other eye will be fitted for close-up. So that means at every point in time, the patient uses one eye for the distance and uses the other eye when they're reading. So for a lot of patients, they easily adapt to this, but the drawback to it is a lot of times you, you lose your depth perception when you uh, go into mono, uh, monovision. Monovision in contact lenses it's good because if you find that you're not comfortable with it, you can probably dis, uh, dis, say, okay, you know what, I don't want anymore, and go to go back to glasses. Then, if it comes to uh, another option now, is laser vision correction. So, laser, with laser vision correction, there's also the option of the multifocal uh, type, and there is also monovision uh, procedure in terms of laser vision um, correction where one eye is corrected for distance, the other one is corrected for near. The drawback to that is if you decide you don't like it, unlike contact lenses, you can no longer go back. Right? Once it's done, it is done. So for a lot of um, surgical centers, what they do is they give you um, multifocal contact lenses to try out. If you're comfortable with it, then you can go ahead and uh, do the laser vision correction, uh, monovision uh, procedure. So these are the ways that um, presbyopia is usually managed. Then there are some people that are just lucky, right? They have one eye that's short-sighted and the other eye could just be close to zero. So what happens in that case, the one that's close to zero sees the distant vision. Then the one that is um, short-sighted compensates for near vision. And that's why you hear some people tell you that, oh, my parents never wore glasses throughout their life. Very true. Although the cases are rare, yeah, but it's true. Because in those cases, one eye is for the distance, the other eye sees close up. So it's almost like monovision that is natural. Other than that, there's nobody, once you're over 40, that can have perfect vision in the distance as you get older, and also a perfect vision close up. It just doesn't make sense. So I thought um, I will share this video with you guys. There are ways to um, solve this problem as we get older. It's not um, uh, it's not one of those things that comes and uh, incapacitates you. For most people, 
once they hit that 40 and they start doing this, like they, 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 they feel like they, the world is coming to an end. Presbyopia is just a normal thing that comes with age. If we can adapt to all the others, I'm sure we can also adapt to this. So I thought I'll share this with you guys. And um, in recent times, there is the option of um, medication that uh, in some countries are allowed. Of course, it's not allowed in um, Canada yet. But um, I know places in the U.S. that are already um, working with it. So this drops um, works like your glasses. Your vision would just be as good in the distance and close up with the drops without glasses and without contact lenses, without laser vision correction. But uh, it's not the standard procedure yet in a lot of countries. So I wouldn't really be diving into that at this point. So I just thought I will share this with you guys. If you have any questions, leave them for me in the comment section. I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.